Okay, so I kind of assembled together some different little bits and bobs, some vintage fabric, some not, um, laces, trims, all that good stuff. And I went ahead and loaded up some needles because how boring would that be to watch Abby thread needles? And I just kind of picked some generic colors that would kind of go with that. All right, so I don't have any set plan on what, oh, I also have some buttons here too. I don't have any set plan on what I want to make. I'm just gonna kind of just visit with you guys and make some. I do want to make some different sizes and of different sizes of one, um, of some I should say. And let me kind of crinkle this up here a little bit. Pray the edges just a little tiny bit. I don't typically make um, a bunch of uh, components, you know, embellishments, whatever you want to call them. I don't typically make those up ahead of time. Um, I don't know why. I've just never been that way, I guess. Unless I'm, you know, I'm um, doing like a commissioned order or something and somebody's wanting, you know, 20 sets of tags or, you know, something like that. I kind of just create them as I'm working as, on a specific project. So, I don't know. Let me know if you guys are that way. I, I see a lot of great videos where people are doing like, you know, um, you know, making different embellishments and um, for like their different, uh, you know, stashes like for junk journaling and things like that i don't know it's just never been me to do that so this is going to be an adventure for all of us let's see so i think i'm going to go ahead and start working with this piece here and oh be right back okay guys i'm back sorry about that and let's see here it's been a little bit since i uh did the last clip so i'm trying to remember what i was doing i think i was working on this piece here so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of build it. And um, hmm, let's see here. I don't have any particular, uh, you know, project to put this in, but it's going to be kind of fun to have some things um, put together. I'm trying to find my scissors here um, to have some things put together so I can um, use them, you know, quick, uh, quickly and easily on upcoming projects. I'm also going to be doing a video on where I source my different linens and stuff and um, uh, so I'm going to be filming that probably tomorrow because I have to wait until my husband isn't um, rent, uh, working on renovating the cabin we're going to be uh, moving into temporarily until we uh, buy some property here and because they're you know doing construction and stuff and it's you know noisy and whatnot so but I may just do a voiceover or put it to music too so I like to do a lot of my filming when my face is behaving uh, because it makes it a little bit easier for me to talk. So I want to take advantage of those days. I'm going to zoom you guys in just a little bit here. Okay, so I think you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I have that there. I'm trying to do this really quick, quick for me anyway, because um, sometimes I get myself just lost in the details, which is fantastic. I love it so much. It's not a bad thing, that is for sure. And um, maybe I like that together. But I, uh, you know, can take a, a while doing these uh, types of projects and that's okay too because that's what I do. Put this here and just using bits of vintage linens and a lot of times I'll fold something in half before I cut it to see if I like how that looks and we'll just go ahead and do that. And this stuff frays really easy which is fantastic so I don't need to like try to tear it or anything because I can just kind of fray it with my fingers here. And I'm going to cut off just to give it a little bit of a trim. Okay, and we'll kind of do, I think, that way. And maybe a button. Hmm, or maybe a piece of paper. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Some book page would look really, really cool on there. Um, let me see it. Let me grab some I'll Be Right Back. Okay, so instead I just grabbed some of these prescriptions that are from the 20s. You guys, I scored on Facebook Marketplace. And I'll do a video um, showing you guys the massive amount that I got. So I have a plenty of these, so I'm not too concerned about kind of tearing them up. Now, I'm kind of thinking underneath here, so I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna kind of tear off, uh, yeah, I wanna tear this part off here. Cause I wanna save this because this will be great for us um, in a journal piece there. And I want the writing to show. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And I use every scrap of this kind of stuff. Nothing gets wasted. It either gets stitched down, glued down, or something like that. So, and since I have so many of these prescriptions, um, they're real. They're not, um, a, you know, a um, scanned image or anything um, done digitally. So, uh, let's see if I like how that looks. 
Okay, so I'm thinking that this is too much um, brown on brown on brown, which is in cream, which is fine too, but I kind of want to add a little bit of color to that. So that's what it looks like thus far. And you can also add color, but just by using different colors of threads. But I think I like it with this um, green behind it. I do, I do. I think I like that. So what I'm going to looking for is I kind of want to have some kind of like tool or some um, some kind of uh, really loose knit lace or something. And I'm digging. Sorry for the noise. I have um, just one of my bags of my cabbage, and I'm thinking maybe something like this. It's not quite wide enough. Let's try this end. What I'm thinking. All right, put this down because that's crinkling, and I'm sure it's very annoying. Let's see. Try that. We'll cut here. And what is it they say, uh, measure twice and cut once? That's what I do with this kind of stuff. I will um, make it a little bit longer than I think I need, and I kind of trim it off um, as I go. All right, so let's put this down here. Uh, see if I like it like that. Is that going to kind of break it up or try it this way? You guys are seeing the crazy world of Abby. No, I like it this way better. I like that, I think. And I'm kind of make the paper go up just a little bit higher because I really want that to show. And then um, like that, and I think what I'll do is use, what color of thread do I want to use? I already have threaded up, but I think it would look good. Maybe this green. I like this green. And I have... Um, the same thread on different needles because I have like one strand, two strands, you know, six strands, that kind of thing. So just for different thicknesses and texture. And I like how that looks and maybe up here I'll do some a um, little bit of red stitching or I might just use some um, single strand floss up there to kind of do some like maybe some X's up here or something like that. Now, oh, that, that's, that's not a, a much of a difference in green. Let's try this one. So, yeah, I think that'll that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start stitching, and um, we'll go from there. So I'm going to be speeding up this, the parts where I'm stitching because, you know, that's not very exciting. I mean, it's exciting for me to do it, but, you know, may not, may not be very exciting for you guys to watch. This is what I do. I can't stop myself. I think I might like that better. Ooh! Sometimes what I do is I'll take a picture and send it to my husband if he's not like in the room with me. And I'm like, help me, what do you think? He's an artist. Um, he's also a computer engineer too. He's, but he has, you know, a couple degrees. And so he's, um, helps me with editing sometimes because I, not video, but like um, this process, because sometimes I just have been looking at it for so long and I'm like, I don't know what to do. So, all right, I want that to show just a little bit. And yeah, I like how that looks much better. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just fray the edges of this and I'm going to start stitching. So I will see you guys back in a minute.
Okay, so I thought I would come back on and uh, show you how you can use a piece of already embroidered fabric and kind of embellish it and add it to your um, slow stitch collage bit. So I think I'm going to use, I'm trying to decide which way I want to tear it. So we'll do it right through here. Like that. And let me cut the string off. And then I just need to figure out which way I want to orient this on um, the tag or whatever I'm going to be using. I may tear this part too. Let's see. Let me find a base. I thought about that, but I don't, I don't think that looks good. Um, we used a light base last time. Let's do, well this isn't super dark, but I was trying to think of something that would make sense because I can do some black stitching of my own on here and I think that would look pretty cool on the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, this is actually a piece of drop cloth canvas, or, uh, or a canvas drop cloth, excuse me, I said it backwards, from Home Depot. And uh, what I did is I washed it and I soaked it in salt because I used some for um, some dyeing with some different berries and stuff. And so this is, um, like, I took half of that drop cloth and did that with it. So I have quite a bit and it's really nice and soft. So it's nice to have that difference in texture. So I want to do this, let's rip it, because I don't want it to be this wide. Um, let me cut the little strings off over here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I want to keep this, the little, how it's fringed off like that, I want to keep that into the um, assemblage here. So just trying to measure out where I want it to be as far as like width of this piece and so I think I like that so I'll go ahead and cut this and then I can fray this with my fingers the edges of it so I don't have to worry about trying to cut it oops I just cut something I picked up on the back <laughs> oh well another little scrap for, for something else and um, let's see here before I finish that let me um, just kind of take a peek see at it and see if I like this for sure before I cut this down anymore and I think I do and this is a little bit crooked because I can't cut straight to save my life uh, freehand. And I like that. And I'm trying to see if I want it to be quite that long on the bottom. Again, this might be way too much fussing for um, most people, but this is this to me is very enjoyable. I, I love this part, this part of the process. Maybe I'll flip it up and stitch it like that. Let me get one of my pins here. So this is just all part of it for me. I will just... Uh, sit back and um, listen to the different uh, programs on um, YouTube that I like to listen to and music and whatnot as I'm doing this. So I'm just trying to hold it up for you guys to see and then I'm trying to see if I like that. And I think I do because what I can do is some stitching on the bottom. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so I like how that looks. And just because this is curled up from being folded, it's kind of bugging me. So I'm gonna pin this down so I can see it flat. There we go. Okay. All right. So now let's see what I want to add to it because that's not enough for me. It could be. I mean, that's plenty for sure. But because um, you can have these as you know, as uh, with many um, as many layers and textures that you want, of course. But I want to maybe I want to incorporate some paper on this one. Let's see. I actually think I want to use part of this tag, but it, since I have this, I kind of want to see what this would look like. That's, well, this is top part's too big, of course, and I don't want to tear that off. So let's try um, one of these tags that I have coffee dyed. Okay, so what I like about this is that this isn't necessarily the same color as you know this tag itself, but it's pretty close to the stamp on there. So I like the idea of playing off of that color with this and I'm just trying to decide how much of this I want. I definitely want to keep that perforation because I do like that texture. So I know you guys probably can't see very well, but I'm trying to orient this here. So I'm going to go ahead and tear this off. If I don't like it, I can use this in another project, of course. And I'm also concerned about the layaway being um, visible. I don't care about that so much. We'll tear that off and then this, of course, can be used for a different project. And let's see, I'll tear the top off here too, just to kind of make it um, not quite so straight, but uh, I think I like how that looks. So let's tear this off without me tearing 
the um, numbers off that I want to keep. And if I do mess it up, I have a whole stack of them I can just start all over. So if I had my glue stick out, this is what I would tack this down to the fabric until I decided to stitch it. But um, for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's see what else I would like. So I'm going to use some black fabric, or excuse me, some black uh, thread. And I'll think of another coordinating color as I'm going along here. And so there is already a lot of embroidery work um, going on here. Not for me, of course, this is from a vintage linen. So it's not like I need to really, you know, pepper this with a bunch of different stitches. Can I? Yeah, I can. Um, will, will I on a separate piece? Probably. But for this one, I really just kind of want to let um, the original embroiders work kind of stand out. So I'm thinking <clears throat> I might stitch around this with some black, like maybe one or two strands and then maybe doing some, uh, uh, let's see, maybe some X's up here, or some kind of uh, stitching, maybe some large French knots, which would mimic what's here, because those are French knots. And um, yeah, we'll kind of see, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, excuse me, that I, um, do I want to put something else behind it or not? It's kind of not layered enough for me, but like I said, I don't want to make this, you know, too crazy so let me grab a piece of this that I have here and I want to cut off the more narrow end of this piece so let's, let's grab this so what if I had let me just cut a piece off here that way it's a little bit more manageable for me to um, take a look at and see if I want to use this or not and if I use it I definitely want to have some of the black so I'm going to cut this here and cut that little bit off um, Okay, and that's probably a little bit too wide still. Oops, it got caught on the needle there. Uh, let's see. And what I'll do is if I don't have this bottom half showing, I'll cut this off so I'm not so I'm not covering up the bottom half for no reason because you can't see it. So um, I might do that too. And that's something um, I used to do when I was, uh, you know, full on scrapbooking. And I didn't want to, you know, waste the scrapbook paper if it was going to be covered under, you know, a photo mat or something like that. So I think I like that, and and I do. So I'm gonna go in here and cut where it will be, make a little snip here, because I want it to go, I'll go just a little smidgen past there, and this is where I'll cut it off. And then, yep, you guessed it, these little pieces will go into my cabbage um, box over here, container, and I'll use it for something different. So I like this. I think this is really, really cool. I like it. How did I have that the first time? I, I kind of like the frayed edges showing, so I want to uh, make those kind of a focal point too. It's a little bit wonky because this is one to flap around. I thought about pinning it, but um, we'll just go with it. So let's put this underneath like I had it, or I think I had it anyway and kind of pull it up to the top a little bit and then let this show because I really wanted the um, lettering to show and I think that's going to do it and then I'll figure out what kind of uh, thread I want to use on the bottom to stitch that up so hopefully you guys were able to see that like I mentioned I'm kind of in a temporary filming setup um, when since we're in the RV so I apologize for any weird angles and stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and um, get my needles threaded up because I didn't thread up any black before I started and I'm gonna start stitching so I'll make that part of process because you know we'd be here for 10 hours if we watched me stitch this together so <laughs> hence the name slow stitching all right see you guys in a minute So my lighting is starting to go away because the sun is setting and it's going to be kind of weird on camera with all the shadows and everything. So this is where I am so far. Just did some basic 
black stitching or stitching with black uh, floss I should say. I just use one strand and I'm gonna go ahead and go back over because I want to do some stitching along oops sorry the lighting I wanted to do some stitching along here I think it'd be kind of cool to accent that and in the bottom I'll get that stitched up as well I'm thinking possibly black I don't know I don't know it'll be a surprise whenever you guys see this um, in the next clip so all right I will see you soon bye okay so I believe this is where we left off when I finished this one and so we have a total of three thus far so those three all right so let's pick out some more fabrics and let's make a few more together I think I want to do some that are a little bit um, longer or you know a little larger I guess I should say this that way it kind of gives me some options as to if I'm making a larger journal page or maybe I want to put it on um, like a wall hanging or something like that I like to have a variety of um, sizes so I can um, have that freedom of choice whenever I go to use these so I'm thinking uh, this one's about the same as that one so let's go ahead and cut this here a little bit and then I'll tear it I love that sound so I wonder, I'm thinking to myself, if I like, use this piece here, and I did want to mention also um, again that if you hear any construction type sounds outside, it's because my husband and Jeff are um, working on um, remodeling, renovating the cabin that we're going to be, uh, be living in for a while. So I apologize for that because RVs, as you know, are not very uh, soundproof, like, you know, outside noises. So there's the size we're going to work with here. And I'm not making these to go in the same journal or whatever. So the colors, you know, when I pick another one, the color, uh, you know, selection isn't going to make a difference on the one I just previously made. So let's see here. Trying to decide. Now, this is the part, um, I think I mentioned this before because it's been about almost two weeks since I filmed the last clip so I'm trying to remember um, that I am pretty slow with because I have so many different ideas and different inspiration pieces and I just kind of you know like to think about it and I'll be listening to my you know my uh, different radio murder mysteries I like to listen to or things like that and I just kind of lose myself in this process so if I take too long trying to determine I will of course speed it up because again how boring would that be to watch me to sit here and just try to figure out what pieces I want to use. Now I'm tempted to dig into my pile of stuff over there and this, uh, this these are some scraps, little bits of cabbage from um, another project I'm working on so I'm going to put it back because I like to grab them uh, um, all over the place if I can but I'm really trying to um, challenge myself to just work with just this little amount here so and that might not be a challenge to most of you but for Abby it is <laughs> because I like to just use so many different things and pick through so many different things all right so what if I did something like Hmm. If I had it going here like this way, okay, I'm just going to kind of make a quick decision here, here because otherwise I'm going to be here all day trying to figure this out. All right, so I'm going to make a decision. We're going to cut this right here, and I'm not going to focus on whether it's straight or not because that doesn't matter as I cut that little lip off there. <laughs> and um, to make this kind of match the rest, I'm going to go ahead and just fold this over as far as the distressing, I mean, and just kind of take my finger and do this with it. So, and when I get to the part where I'm stitching, I'll zoom in my camera closer because I know you guys can't see that from here. And then once I get the placement done, then I kind of go through and kind of give everything a haircut, like, you know, cutting off um, extra strings that I don't want on there. All right. Now, since this is wanting to kind of turn because this was a larger piece of fabric that was folded, I'm going to um, take that and just kind of stitch this uh, down here and because I like how that looks. Now I'm trying to decide if I want it to be up here and I, I already know that I do. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a pin here and pin this together. And again, I know you can't really see up close, but I'm just, you know, pinning the fabric on here right at this point. So this is what um, I do as I'm kind of building my different layers. I just kind of pin things on, kind of try it out, see if I like how it looks there or not. Um, I kind of think maybe using some of this black in here would would look good so I'm going to go ahead and just tear a piece of that off and kind of see I think I might just want to use just the middle part so before I cut it what I'll do what I uh, typically do is I'll fold it you know to the length I think I want it before I cut 
and kind of have that dis, uh, decision there if I like it being centered like that or maybe I just want it to be like this here and I think I want it to be just that because I don't want it to be too like you know perfect or whatever so there is that piece and I could stop there you don't have to have tons and tons of layers um, you know you can do whatever it is you want of course on your project and I'm glad I grabbed some of this out because I do want to use a little bit of this all right so I'm gonna grab a little piece of this we'll just cut it off right here and then I want to determine because I feel like I need something um, to kind of look a little flowy like if I was using cheesecloth or something like that I'm not sure if that makes any sense what I'm trying to explain so I'm gonna pin this here for a minute because sometimes the things that I think in my head are hard for me to articulate out loud to anybody else so <laughs> you'll have to just forgive me on that and I think I do like that but I wonder if I want it to go a little bit longer so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this piece off here in the bottom and then let's put it here. Of course, I'll trim it down a little bit more. I'm just kind of getting an idea if I like it, um, the size of it. So let's see. And I do. I like that. I like how that looks. So I think that's all I'm going to do on this one because um, I can do some more decorative accents by just doing some stitching. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get my needles loaded up. And um, for the colors I want to use on this one, get everything pinned down. And um, you guys can watch me do some stitching on this next little slow stitch collage bit. All right, see you in just a minute. I just wanted to um, make another notation that you know when you're doing stitching um, like on this particular piece here you can be very precise and kind of measure out your stitches if you want to but sometimes I will do that if I'm going for a specific look but like on this one I'll have some stitches that are shorter some that are closer together than like these here and then um, I'll also have some that are a little bit longer so uh, it just kind of adds to the visual, um, you know, presentation, visual, um, you know, of the texture of the um, project you're stitching on. Just kind of gives it a little bit more interest, I think. But you, of course, can, um, you know, do what you like. So, and I think I'm going to do some long ones here. I'm trying to finish up this uh, length of red floss that I had on this needle, so... And let's do a really tall one up here at the very, very dear. Oops, let's go, go a little bit higher, actually. Right there. Kind of make a little bit longer one. And it's not a big deal if I have to, you know, rethread a new needle because I will be using more red, of course. Um, but I just kind of wanted to finish this off if I could. And I think it's going to work out just fine. Ah! <laughs> 
and then I just unthreaded my needle, which happened. So I'm going to go ahead and um, re-thread this so I can get it back through the last stitch here, and then I'll tie it off and we'll go from there. So be, I will see you at the next step. So we are done with our six slow stitchy collage bits and I hope that you enjoyed watching me um, kind of do a challenge for myself by having just a smaller amount of fabrics and textiles to work with and um, and that you just kind of watched my process and me just kind of stitching along. So I hope that um, I have encouraged you to do some slow stitching if you have not um, tried that before. I will link my slow stitch uh, playlist below so you can check that out if you haven't already. And there are tons and tons of amazing stitchers on Instagram and on YouTube. So you can also search um, for additional people that like to do this kind of thing. So, alrighty. Last one, this little itty bitty tiny one. All right, guys, so um, I will see you next time. And oh, before I forget, let me know in the comment section below if you um, have any of your slow stitching projects on Instagram, Facebook, um, Pinterest, or a YouTube video, anywhere on your social media. And um, because I would like to go check it out and uh, take a look at your stitchy stuff and um, give you some support as you guys give me support. All right, see you next time. Bye.